Hi, my name is Eric Wong, and I'm here at IDF 2011. We're going to be demonstrating our USB host and PHY IP in an inter interoperability test with all the different kinds of USB traffic that we've got. I'd like to start by introducing interoperability testing uh, the way the USB IF has told us we should do it, which is the USB Gold Tree. The USB Gold Tree actually represents all the different possible kinds of USB traffic. So starting in the upper left, we have, for example, a uh, USB headset, which has both speakers and a microphone in it. We have a USB mouse, we have USB keyboards represented in the gold tree, we have high speed webcams represented in the gold tree, and we have mass storage devices also, USB 2 high speed mass storage devices represented also. And then we have many layers of hubs, in fact we have five layers of hubs, including these USB 2 hubs, and then the super speed hub, which is the start of our gold tree, and connected into that super speed hub we have a super speed mass storage device. So all the different traffic types and all the different traffic speeds are represented in this gold tree, and this is how the USB IF does certification certifica testing and this is how we do testing in our lab. So let's go to the demo. So here we have our USB 3 host controller and PCI Express controller implemented on our HAPS platform uh, in FPGA and using PCI Express we plug this into a PC it looks just like any other host controller on your PC. In addition we have our USB 3 PHY card with our USB 3.0 PHY here and we've got the host port here. What we're going to do now is we're going to plug our uh, gold tree into the host controller to show you uh, how those devices come up in Windows with our host controller. Now the gold tree as you uh, includes all those different kinds of USB 3 devices and you're going to see on the screen here, I just plugged it in, it's going to start to enumerate all those devices as I power up the gold tree itself. So you see it's blinking, what's happening is it's just enumerating all the different devices. And you see in the lower left hand corner of the screen, you can see that the autoplay is going. And the autoplay is going because all the, th all the different uh, mass storage devices are popping up. They're being recognized and there's three of those in the gold tree. And now I'm going to go up to the uh, actual uh, gold tree here itself and we're going to take a look here. Oh, you saw the autoplay pop up for a second there. So you can see here's the uh, first layer of hub. Here's the second layer, third layer fourth layer, fifth layer, and there's the Microsoft webcam for example that we're gonna that uh, we saw on the gold tree. Uh, another input device, uh, more layers of hubs, lots and lots of devices on there. Uh, there's the Logitech headset which is going to be testing isochronous high speed both for the speakers and the microphone. Uh, more composite devices, in this case uh, most likely the key, oh there's the mouse and there's the keyboard. Uh, and storage device, and then finally, uh, we've got one more layer, of, another layer of hubs. And this final composite device is actually the Logitech webcam. So now what I'm going to do is if uh, I'm going to launch the webcam application and we're going to actually see the traffic working. This is isochronous traffic running through uh, this Logitech webcam. And in this case, we've got the webcam running. Uh, the high-speed webcam is running through, uh, is connected to a high-speed hub. That high speed hub is then connected through a couple layers of other hubs, as you saw, and then to the super speed hub, and then to our host controller. So, what you've seen is you've seen our USB 3 host controller interoperating with uh, super speed devices, high speed devices, and with all, and low speed and full speed devices with all different traffic types, uh, demonstrating our interoperability. Thanks for watching.